Astronomers have just seen something no one ever has, the hidden companion of Betelgeuse. But its discovery comes with a chilling twist. It's in serious danger. After a long wait, astronomers have finally seen the stellar companion of the famous star Betelgeuse. This discovery finally solves many of the mysteries surrounding the Betelgeuse star. But scientists have found strange things about this companion object, and they predict that Betelgeuse will cannibalize it soon. Today, we will discuss this groundbreaking new discovery in detail. What would happen if a star near us suddenly exploded? It's an exciting but slightly scary thought. In fact, about 2.6 million years ago, a star actually did go supernova fairly close to Earth, only about 150 light years away. Scientists believe that this explosion may have played a role in a mass extinction event, especially affecting large marine animals at the time. Today, the star closest to us is the Sun, but there's no need to worry about it exploding. Our Sun is a stable star in the middle of its life, and scientists say it won't reach the explosive stage for billions of years. But not all stars are like the Sun. Some are much bigger, hotter, and more violent. These massive stars do end their lives in powerful explosions. And yes, a few of them are relatively close to Earth. Stars like Spica, and Teres, and Rigel are all huge and old enough to potentially go supernova someday. However, even though they are considered nearby in astronomical terms, they're still hundreds of light years away from us, which means Earth is not in any real danger if they explode. But the light from their explosions would be visible from Earth, so bright it might outshine the moon for days or even weeks. Among these stars, one in particular has caught the attention of astronomers worldwide, Betelgeuse. It's a massive red supergiant located in the constellation Orion, about 642 light years from Earth, meaning the light we see from it today left the star about 600 years ago. Interestingly, we don't know its exact distance, but it's in that ballpark. If Betelgeuse had already exploded in a supernova within the last 600 years, the light from that explosion would still be traveling toward us. In other words, it's possible that Betelgeuse has already exploded centuries ago, and we could see the explosion at any time, even tomorrow. Still, no one really knows when Betelgeuse will explode. For the past few years, it has continued to show strange and unusual activity that made many scientists believe the end might come sooner than expected. But the more they study it, the more surprises they find. In fact, just recently, scientists captured a new image of Betelgeuse using an advanced space observatory, and what they found was truly fascinating. Scientists have discovered that Betelgeuse has dimmed in three different ways over time, and each type of dimming seems to be caused by a different reason. The most surprising of these was something called the Great Dimming, when the star's brightness suddenly dropped by about 35%. That's a huge change for a star and it left astronomers shocked because stars don't usually dim that much without a serious reason. At first, no one knew what was happening. But after studying it more closely, scientists realized that Betelgeuse had ejected a massive cloud of dust from its surface. As this dust moved in front of the star and cooled down, it blocked some of the light coming from the star, making it look much dimmer from Earth. Another type of dimming that scientists have seen in this star is a regular pattern of light changes that repeats every 400 days. This isn't caused by dust or anything outside the star. It actually comes from inside. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, and like many stars of its kind, it experiences internal pulsations. These are slow rhythmic expansions and contractions in the star's outer layers, kind of like a heartbeat. As the star swells up and then shrinks again, its brightness changes slightly. The 400-day brightness cycle is believed to be Betelgeuse's main pulsation rhythm, and it's one of the key ways scientists study the inner workings of this giant star. In some cases, strange or changing pulsations can hint that the star is entering the final stage of its life. While Betelgeuse's 400-day pulsation alone doesn't mean it will explode soon, it could be a sign that the star is slowly heading toward its ultimate fate, a supernova. These pulsations are like whispers from the star's core, and scientists are listening carefully. And now, let's talk about the third kind of dimming that scientists have seen in Betelgeuse. This one is the most mysterious of all. It happens about once every six years, and no one could figure out why. Unlike the other dimmings, this pattern didn't match anything going on inside the star, like internal pulsations. 
It also didn't seem to be caused by dust clouds. For years, this six-year cycle of light fluctuations puzzled astronomers. Then, some researchers came up with an interesting idea. What if Betelgeuse isn't alone? What if there's a smaller companion star orbiting very close to it, and every few years that star affects the light we see from Earth? They ran computer models and calculations and predicted that if such a companion exists, it might be one to two times the mass of our Sun and orbit fairly close to Betelgeuse. But there was a problem. Betelgeuse is so huge and bright that spotting a much smaller, dimmer star right next to it is extremely difficult. However, Using a special instrument called Alapeak, attached to the powerful Gemini North Telescope in Hawaii, scientists were finally able to spot something extraordinary. They directly observed a faint companion star near Betelgeuse. They named it Sawara. This star is about 1.66 times the mass of the Sun and orbits Betelgeuse at a distance of roughly four astronomical units. That's four times the distance between Earth and the Sun. In comparison, Jupiter orbits the Sun at about 5 Australian dollars and 20 cents, so Sawara is even closer to Betelgeuse than Jupiter is to our Sun based on its orbit. Scientists found that Sawara circles around Betelgeuse once every 5.94 years, which lines up almost perfectly with the strange six-year light fluctuations observed earlier. But that's not the only surprise. Sawara isn't a fully developed star. It's what scientists call a pre-main sequence F-type star which means it's still very young and hasn't started nuclear fusion in its core yet. In simple terms, it hasn't turned on like a normal star. What's fascinating and strange is that Sawara and Betelgeuse were likely born at the same time from the same cloud of gas and dust. Yet, while Betelgeuse has lived its entire life and is now nearing the end, Sawara's life hasn't even properly begun. This shows us just how different stars can be depending on their size. Larger stars like Betelgeuse burn hot and live fast, reaching the end of their lives in just a few million years. Smaller stars like Sawara take much longer to grow and develop. In fact, scientists now believe that Sawara may never fully become a star. It might remain forever in this early, inactive state. Scientists predict that Betelgeuse will go supernova sometime within the next 100,000 years, most likely leaving behind a neutron star. But before that happens, Betelgeuse's intense gravity is expected to pull its smaller companion star inward and eventually devour it. The research team estimates that this cannibalistic event could occur within the next 10,000 years. In the meantime, astronomers will get another look at the stellar companion of Betelgeuse in November 2027, when it achieves maximum separation from the infamous red supergiant star. As scientists keep studying Betelgeuse and its newly discovered companion, we're starting to understand more about how these giant stars live and change over time. Whether it explodes tomorrow or thousands of years from now, one thing is clear. Betelgeuse is slowly moving toward the end of its life. And now that we know it has a smaller star orbiting so close, the story becomes even more interesting. This discovery not only deepens our understanding of Betelgeuse, but also opens a new chapter in the study of binary star systems involving red supergiants. Until recently, the idea of such a massive star like Betelgeuse having a relatively small companion seemed purely theoretical, but direct imaging of Sawara confirms that massive stars can indeed coexist in close binary arrangements with smaller, evolving stars. This has major implications for stellar evolution models. It suggests that mass exchange between the two stars could drastically alter the timeline of their lives. In systems like this, a more massive star can shed material onto its smaller partner, potentially changing both of their fates in ways scientists are only beginning to understand. Even more intriguing is the possibility that the cannibalism event could trigger unusual behaviors in Betelgeuse itself. Some models predict that as Betelgeuse draws in matter from Sawara, its outer layers could become increasingly unstable. This process might not only speed up the timeline to supernova, but could also result in dramatic flare-ups, irregular dimming events, or even temporary increases in brightness. In other words, we might witness violent interactions between these two stars before the final explosion ever takes place. If Betelgeuse does eventually explode in a supernova while we're still observing it, it would be a once-in-a-lifetime cosmic event. 
The flash of light could be so bright it would cast shadows at night, visible even during the day for weeks. The radiation from the explosion, although powerful, would not harm life on Earth due to the star's distance. But its light and the flood of neutrinos and particles could be detected by telescopes and instruments all over the world, offering an unprecedented chance to study a supernova in real time. What makes this even more significant is the opportunity it presents for multi-messenger astronomy. That means not just observing the event through visible light, but also through gravitational waves, neutrino detectors, and radio telescopes. If Betelgeuse does go supernova, it could help refine our understanding of core collapse physics, neutrino bursts, and even the dynamics of space-time distortions. It would be a moment where nearly every kind of astronomical tool would be aimed at a single object, capturing every detail possible. And for the broader public, it would spark global interest in the cosmos. Schools, observatories, and news outlets would be buzzing with real-time updates about Betelgeuse's transformation. People would gather to witness the brilliant light in the sky, a celestial beacon reminding us of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of the universe. In this sense, Betelgeuse wouldn't just be a scientific marvel, it would become a cultural and historic phenomenon. Meanwhile, scientists are continuing to monitor Betelgeuse and Sawara through multiple observatories, including the James Webb Space Telescope and the upcoming Extremely Large Telescope, YELTI. These advanced instruments will allow astronomers to peer deeper into Betelgeuse's atmosphere and detect early warning signs of any approaching stellar collapse. By analyzing the chemical composition, magnetic field changes, and pulsation shifts, experts hope to build a predictive model that can estimate when the star might finally reach its explosive finale. As we watch Betelgeuse nearing its cosmic end, we're reminded that stars, like all things in the universe, are temporary. Their lives span millions or even billions of years, but they too must die. And in their death, they create new elements, energize galaxies, and pave the way for new stars to form. Betelgeuse's story isn't just about an impending explosion. It's about the cyclical rhythm of creation and destruction that governs everything from stars to life itself. In the vastness of space, Betelgeuse is just one of countless stars. But right now, it has captured our attention like few others ever have. Its unpredictability, its scale, and now the discovery of its companion make it one of the most studied and mysterious objects in our night sky. As the years unfold, astronomers will continue their vigil, waiting patiently for that moment when the sky changes forever, when Betelgeuse, the red giant of Orion, finally bursts into a spectacular farewell. Hit that subscribe button, share your thoughts below, and let's keep exploring the together. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next.